Hey guys, it's Laura here from Take 5 and Create with another Instant Pot recipe just for you. This is my delicious creamy caramely flan that I made in my Instant Pot and it was so easy. It's one of my husband's favorite desserts, so stay tuned and I'll show you how. Here are all the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need five eggs, a cup of sugar, a block of cream cheese that's been sitting out for a good 30 minutes so that it's soft and easily blended in our blender, some Adam extract vanilla, which is my favorite vanilla to use, some sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk, and of course your Instant Pot. That's all you're gonna need to make the perfect flan. And I also am using my new sling from OXO, this product here, you can get them at Target. Um, that way it's easily lifted up out of the Instant Pot with no problem. So first step is we're gonna make the caramel that sticks around this glass Pyrex bowl that's heat safe. So make sure you, whatever bowl you use, first off that it will fit in your Instant Pot and that second off it is heat resistant, okay? Because you're gonna be pouring very hot caramel that's gonna to stick to the edges which creates that yummy caramelized texture on the outside of your flan. So stay tuned, here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our five eggs into the blender, okay? Super easy. I'm adding all of the ingredients together in here um, and then we're just gonna blend it up, okay? You wanna make sure your cream cheese is softened. It's The indention stays in really good, it's soft, it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna drop one eight ounce package of cream cheese and then we're gonna add um, our can of sweetened condensed milk. Oh yeah, this stuff's not fattening at all. <laughs> oh man, it's so delicious and creamy. And the Instant Pot makes it the best way to make flan. Now we're gonna add one can of evaporated milk. I'm sure there's a way to make this less fattening, but like why? <laughs> okay, next thing is my favorite vanilla of all time. I order this online in the gallon size because I can't get it in the state of Utah um, like I could in Texas. This is a Texas product in my opinion. It is so good, order it online. It's an extract but it smells like fresh vanilla. It does not smell alcoholish at all. So we're gonna add one teaspoon of Adam's extract to the mix here. Then we're just gonna put it on. Now I have a Blendtec blender, which I love. Um, but you can use any type of blender that you've got, as long as it will pulse and make it smooth. Okay, so we're just gonna use the pulse function right here and just make that as smooth as can be. All right. Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, so now our filling is done. That's all it took, guys. It's so easy. Now let's make the coating for our bowl. Okay, so in a small saucepan, you're gonna put one cup, or you can do three-fourths cup, whatever you feel like you need, into your saucepan, and we are gonna turn it on medium-high and start stirring. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this caramelize not get too dark. You don't want it to get too dark because your flan will taste a little burned and that's not what you want. So you just want a nice, um, not light brown, but I would say medium brown color to your sugar. This is a very important step. It also is something you don't want to do with small children around or having them help you, I should say, because it does get very, very hot. So we're just gonna let this go. You don't also want to walk away from this either because um, it will burn. Soon enough it will start to caramelize and liquefy. And after we've gotten that liquefied, we're going to pour it into our bowl that we're gonna place in our Instant Pot. That's why you wanna make sure it's a Pyrex bowl or something that's heat resistant and can go up to really high heat because this is going to get really hot. 
But this is one of the, the best ways that you can do this uh, recipe is in your Instant Pot. It takes 20 minutes in your Instant Pot. And then I like to do this dessert the day before I'm going to serve it because I like it to be real nice and cold. Um, and it really is. I've tried this in a Bain Marie, which is the typical way you would put it into an oven um, covered with um, into a water bath, which is a Bain Marie. And it takes up to an hour to cook perfectly. Yeah, no, I don't have that kind of time. 20 minutes, I'm up for that. And to be honest, this method cooks perfect every single time. And it becomes, it is literally the creamiest flan you'll ever taste. As you can see here, starting to melt. This process took me about six minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna stir so that it continues to dissolve that sugar and become a medium brown color. I use a very long wooden spoon. Um, this one I get from Sur La Um Because the heat is on and it's um, pretty medium high and you can feel it. <laughs> and you're sitting here for a good six to eight minutes getting this to be the perfect consistency and texture and color. You can see the sugar is all melted now. Now we're just getting it to the perfect color stage. It's just about there. You don't want that to get too brown again because you'll taste it. And it will taste a little bit burned even though the flan itself is not. And that's about where I want it. So let's turn off the heat and go to the next stage. Now this next process goes really quick, so I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our pot, and we're gonna pour this really hot sauce inside, okay? And then we're gonna swirl it around until it coats the entire bowl. And it is hot, so you wanna be careful. And see how I'm just going around the whole bowl? So let's go to this side. And this is the part I say you don't want to have your young kids helping you with it because it will burn the crap out of you. <laughs> the Pyrex bowls make it so easy to handle. I don't feel the heat on the outside. It's a little warm, but it's not like super hot like a nonstick pan would be or a um, other type of pan. I just like the glass the best. It also creates the best flan in my opinion. And then I'm just going to continue to coat all the way around and get it all over until it is nicely coated because that is going to make your best texture on your flan itself. Ooh, now it's starting to get a little warm. You can use a towel to hold your bowl if you'd like. My kids think I have like hot hands. I'm really good at it. Okay, so we got that. Like I say, if you want to make sure, grab a towel just keep going until it's all coated and you can see how quickly it dries and get nice and coated now the next step is that we're going to pour our mixture into this beautiful caramelized bowl okay now we've got our setup so you can see I'm using this easy sling you can use a um, Reynolds wrap sling if you want you can make one yourself but this is the best way so first off, my Instant Pot is ready, and I'm gonna put two cups of water inside. So now, we are ready to put this together. I've got my Blendtec mixture that I've just shown you how to do, and listen. I don't know if you can hear that crackling, but it's a beautiful sound. Bam! Got all of that goodness in there. And now all you need to do is cover it with some Reynolds wrap because we're making a steam bath just like we would if we were to put it into the oven, right? Slow and move it out there. Okay, so now I'm just covering it. So we get a good seal and the water doesn't seep in. 
it's really not going to seep in because of this awesome OXO product. It's a trivet plus sling. All right, so now all I'm going to do is lock and load here like that. And all I'm going to do is lift and place that yummy flan to be inside. Next step, as you know, I like to load with my dessert ring here. I use a white one for all of my spicy uh, mixtures that I use like tikka masala or stew but this one is reserved just for the things that I make that are sweet so that I don't transfer the smell of let's say tikka masala into my flan. So it's good to have two rings and this is a great example of wine. Okay so now you're going to make sure that it's your instant pot is sealed not to venting but to sealed and then we're going to look here Okay, now I'm gonna turn my pressure cooker on and we don't want 45 minutes, we wanna push that down to 20. 20 minutes is all it's gonna take. So I'm gonna drop that down to 20 and then it's already gonna to start to pressurize and cook. After this is done and you hear the beep, you're gonna let it naturally release. So once it's built pressure, it will say 20 and start counting down and it's going to make the most incredible flan you've ever eaten in your life. So I've just canceled it because it naturally released. The valve is down. That's when I know it's safe to open. Let's see what we got. And I just let the lid drain a little bit of that water that's been evaporated. And then I am going, this is a little warm, just let that cool a minute. Then I'm gonna lift it out. See how awesome this product is? I love this OXO uh, trivet. Let's see what it did. Yes, look at that. Perfectly golden on the edges and it's jiggling. So I, I kind of touched the top so I can tell from here that it's spongy and perfect and the center is also jiggly. You can also shake it a little and test. Now there's a little bit of water accumulation right there. Uh, you use a paper towel, light touch with the rag. Takes all that water up. Now I'm gonna let it cool for a minute and then I'm going to put this with saran wrap over the top and my refrigerator and let that cool for about two, three hours. I'm gonna do here we go. Okay, so this has been cooling, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off the trivet. And it's a little bit loose, as you can see. So what I like to do before I put it in the fridge is I like to get just a pie plate, just a regular pie plate, and one that's kinda got some side to it because that way the juices will stay in the pan. And I'm gonna flip it upside down, just like so. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, you ready guys? Here it goes. Oh, that looks fabulous. Perfect flan in the Instant Pot. Now all we have to do is wait for it to get cold to enjoy. Thanks so much for joining me today as I made my flan in the Instant Pot. Don't forget, if you don't want to miss another recipe, click that subscribe button and that bell to be notified every time that I post something. Thanks so much for joining and I'll see you next time.